got Astrid out today. You've seen Astrid so many times. Um, it's a Swedish book I bought, obviously when I was in Sweden. Um, a lot of things going on on a lot of the pages. In fact, she's almost full, I would say. Um, loads of just different scraps of things. I did this with you last time. Um, these little snippets of cloth. And then I did this and I didn't like it, so I didn't show you. I'm showing you now, though. I stitched the zip in and put some Suffolk puffs in, but I really don't like it, so we'll skip over that. So what I was thinking today, I just found a little scrap of paper that I'd stitched. You might think, just throw it away, it was so small. Um, it's this paper that's coming off the edge of this circle. It's machine stitched paper, and it was just, I was looking for something else, and it was just there, and I thought, oh, I'm going to do something with that. So I just cut a disc of white paper out, and I pin pricked a little bit, so now before I put it in, I want to just put a few French knots on it, just to give it a bit of texture. And then I'm just going to put it in Astrid. So if you've got a little storybook like this, I know I'm all storybook at the minute because of the class we're doing, stitching a story, which is nearly finished, I can't believe it. Anyway, so it doesn't hurt to just have a little book somewhere. that If you find a scrap that ordinarily you might think, oh, I'll throw that away, that's no use. Well, perhaps don't throw it away. Give it another chance, you know, or do something else with it. And just, then you've got your little book, hopefully, to hand, that you can just put it in as a means of salvaging it. This is the most basic exercise, really. Um, I might not actually have enough thread to do it all. I, might, I want to have it so that that is hanging off kind of at the lower edge. Just let me pull in a little bit. Um, but I don't want to run out of thread, but I don't want to compromise on French knots. I mean, I could even, if I wanted to, where there's plain paper there, could draw on that or doodle on that, but I'm not going to do that, because if anybody needs an excuse to muck something up, it's me. And if it involves a pencil, definitely got disaster written all over it. A PD, P for pencil, D for disaster, equals Karen. So I'm not, I might actually get, so, I mean, it's so basic. Now, I was going to put it in here, but maybe I shouldn't put it in there. Maybe I can look for a better page. Even a page that's already been worked on. So I wouldn't necessarily just stick it in anywhere. No, I'd look for a home for it. Um, somewhere that looks as if. It was made for it, where it's going to live happily. So, I'm just going to thread this through a couple of times to fasten it off. Normally, I would do a little knot, but I can't because I didn't have enough thread. So, so I'll just have a quick gander through this. Like I said, I don't like that, so I'm not going to take a picture of that. Look at that, because it's the last time I'm going to see it. Will it live on here? But then you've seen that quite recently, so I don't want you to think I'm showing you the same thing again. It would actually look nice there, wouldn't it? But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try and find somewhere else. Have a look here. Might look quite nice there on that page, but then maybe it needs something a bit brighter. So just pick yourselves up a little children's book or something. Actually, yeah, I think it'd be nice there as a seal there on the end of that page. It's going to be a nightmare to take pictures of this, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. And then it kind of runs along, there's kind of a theme going on there now because I've got textured paper here and here. So yeah, it's going there. So I'm just going to literally tie it in. Nothing scientific, nothing complicated. Just literally going to tie it in. Um, now if I wanted to as well, just give me a second to thread my needle. If I wanted to, I could extend the knots onto the page 
I wonder if that would be a good idea. I don't know why I did that because I don't. So if I go through there, I'll tie it in with a French knot. I'll do a French knot here. Oops, one, two, three. Go back down, fasten that off. Put another knot in this and see about. I don't want this to turn into a five hour video, or, um, don't want anybody growing beards on my watch. Right, so actually moved so it needs one at the bottom anyway. So if I put one here to secure it at the bottom I've been working on the paper piece that I was talking about yesterday on my blog, um, which would be the 21st of August, um, but I can't first, I'm going to put some French knots down here just because I can't, I can't first try to take pictures of it in the horrendous wet, dark and dreary weather we've got today, because I can never get brilliant pictures of white in this weather and I know this is white but at least it's got a bit of a background on it that might help with the pictures so I could do them all the way down I'm not going to because you this video will be horrendously long but just two there um, and people who know me know I don't like even numbers so I'm going to have to do another one so it's three I haven't got a fear of even numbers, I'm not quite that bad, but I don't like them. Give me an odd number any day. Which is weird because I live at number 10. But I can't necessarily change the number of my house, so... Fasten that off. And then that's just that little tiny scrap that would have otherwise ended up in the rubbish. Now preserved. In a book. There. So get yourselves a little book, cheap book, not too expensive. And if you find a little scrap and you think, oh, I'm going to put that in the bin, and think, no, I'm not going to put it in the bin, I'm going to put it in my book. And before you know it, you'll have a book that's full of lovely things. Homework, again, I give you homework with swatches last week, I'll give you homework this week with tiny scraps and little books.